Hi world, it's about 6.37pm on Friday the 16th of June 2017. The moon is in Pisces, conjunct Neptune. Sat uh, the sun is one degree past exact opposition to Saturn. Mercury is coming into oppositions to Saturn now, over the next three days. Mars is now 10 degrees away from opposing Pluto and getting closer every day. In about nine days time, Mercury and Mars will come together around the 27th, 28th, 29th of this month, and they will be exactly opposite Pluto. This is quite a fiery, explosive situation, and I've said before a number of times that this is going to cause quite a feisty and potentially explosive uh, environment in a number of situations around the world. Right, having said that, somewhere between 48 and 72 hours ago, there was a massive fire in West London. A whole tower block went up, and in the space of half an hour, from what was a small fire in a kitchen, a whole tower block with 30 floors of people on was ablaze. It was a horrendous disaster. Official death figures are about 30. They're saying they might expect 60 to 70. Having seen the pictures, I expect over 100 to be dead. This happened in a borough of London called Kensington and Chelsea, the richest borough in London. And it happened in the poorest part of that borough where all the poor people and the immigrants live. And uh, it happened in a tower block that was almost exclusively populated by refugees, Syrian, Bangladeshi, Ethiopian and Somalian immigrants. There were no sprinklers. The cladding that was put on the outside in a recent renovation was not fireproof, as has been announced today. The fire took hold massively. Hundreds of people died. Well, hundreds of people were, mort were injured. People were throwing babies from a 10th floor to try and get their babies safe, knowing that they were going to die. It's a horrendous situation. Immediately after this, on the next day, the Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, was there visiting people on the street. The Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, has been there all the time, really working with trying to get people rehoused. The Queen and Prince William went there today to meet the people. They were there while people were screaming and crying in grief. And yes, they were stoic, but at least they showed their true colours by being there to greet people and say, look, we're sorry, we really regret it. How can we help? Theresa May visited briefly one of the hospitals to speak to the emergency services. She's not been to speak to any of the survivors, any of the people affected by this, apart from the emergency services. No Tory MP, no member of the government has been to express their condolences or sign any of the books. Today, Theresa May went to one of the churches to talk to some of the religious leaders in, in the area, and she had to be bundled out and pushed into a car by security services. A lot of protesters are on the streets in West London. There was an invasion of the local town council today. The council has rehoused as many people as they can, but the council's very right wing, very conservative run. There seems to be a complete lack of empathy, care, compassion for these poor, downtrodden people, immigrants to our country, who have come here in the hope of getting a better life. No one from the government seems to care about these people. They're the untrodden, the invisible. Meantime, these government officials, they're off now to the weekend, to the country homes where they can sit down and do nothing while wringing their hands about what a tragic situation it is. Why? Uh, the, the help that's coming in for these people is amazing. The whole of West London has, has mobilised itself, but this is not the council or the government, it's people on the streets. These are the people who are bringing in clothing, food, water, offering shelter and accommodation. No one has publicised what else is doing. Yes, there's been a public inquiry announced. This evening, Theresa May has announced a, a package of funds to help house people, hopefully within three weeks. Tell that to the people who have lost absolutely everything, who got out, if they were lucky, with their clothes on, who are now sleeping on bare floorboards in community centres and have got nothing. It seems to me that when Theresa May was voted in, she promised to be there for all the people and to offer strong and stable government. She's completely ignored the plight of the people out there. And she's missed a massive chance to get out there and show herself as a woman of the people, concentrating instead on just speaking to religious leaders and to members of the security services. Whereas the Queen and the leader of other political parties and the Mayor of London, they've been out there on the street, in the on the ground, talking to people, finding out what's going on, how they can help, showing support. 
At the moment of the fire, the sun was pretty much exactly opposite Saturn. Saturn was on the midheaven, the sun was on the IC. The moment of the, f the first fire report was at 0.54 hours on Wednesday the 14th of June. It seems to me, from an astrological perspective, that Saturn is the ruler of this event. But Saturn... Saturn is a hard taskmaster. He's not as callous as he seems. He deals in hard facts. But the hard facts are that now there's up to a thousand disaffected, disempowered people on the streets of London without anywhere to go, without any hope, without any possessions or clothes. They've lost their ID papers. Most of them are just poor immigrants and no one seems to be caring about them apart from other people on the street. The fact that this happened in a poor area of the richest part of London and that the council doesn't seem to be caring about it. This is appalling. This is absolutely appalling. And I don't want to sort of muckrake any more than I already have, but the knowledge that these people have just sat there in their ivory towers claiming their expenses and drinking tea, going off to their country homes for the weekend while these other poor people are out there suffering, this is inequality and this is not what this country stands for. We're supposed to be a haven and a safe place for people who have been disaffected. So for goodness sake, will the people in, in control of this country, will the people in power of this country stand up and take responsibility for themselves and go and help these people? Because otherwise the protests are only going to get worse. And with Mars coming up to oppose Pluto and Mercury coming up to oppose Pluto over the coming week or two, it could get nasty. I hope not. Sensible people will take the middle ground here, but please, sensible people, get out there, help these people. They need it. Okay, rant's over, folks. Catch you tomorrow. Bye.